Well, I'm going to read Kumina Queen first, and it's taken from my book titled Kumina Queen. And I just want to say a little bit about it because I, my daughter danced with NDTC Jamaica, and you know, they have this famous dance, Kumina Queen. Yeah. And, Right, and I was a student at Cultural Training Center, dance for many years. So she walked in my footsteps, but she did better than I did. <laughs> and um, that's how this poem was birthed. However, my sister Genevieve, who is in the audience tonight, she was doing some studies and she um, met upon a book written by Bilby. You're probably familiar with mm -hmm. it now. Yes. And she came upon mm -hmm. A lot of by not names in this book. John and my father's name was John. You know, it's a history of the Maroons, true right. Maroons. And then she met upon Mama Minot, who was the Kumina Queen. And the, the, the thing about this is that we, we all love dance. So, you know, it's the heritage. And what we're learning now that we have epigenetic markers in our DNA. And through these markers, some of these things travel, the artistic mm -hmm. traits, I'm told. So we have no proof of it, but I've claimed Mama Minot, who was a Kumina queen, who was a maroon, who was my great, great, great grandmother, as I say. <laughs> so okay. that is a, that's a backstory I would, uh, that I'm giving you, okay? Yes. Hi. So go ahead, uh, Monica. That my step is your step. That the movement in me is not one to keep, but to pass on. That bongo is a sweet word, although mother used it as a reprimand. That when my bare feet meet earth, the current traveling uplifts me, and I forget the part of me schooled in containment. And I dance the dance of Mama Minot, skipping over generations of pastors, teachers, seamstresses, keeping me in, holding me back. I must satisfy an ache coded in the bloodline. In time, I must cross over the ocean back to Zaire. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. Um, I love the spirit of that. I, I forget the part of me that is kept in containment. And, you know, looking back to my childhood in Jamaica, so much was repressed because um, of the belief that that was too close to the Africa in us, and we needed to go more to the British. And, um, but as you say in your poem, there's something that defies that containment, that just burst out, that you must cross that ocean to go to that, to that place, that nobody can keep that um, constrained within it. At some time, it's going to burst out. All my life as a young child, my father wouldn't allow us to listen to reggae and dance to reggae. And so when I got the opportunity as an adult to, I just kind of broke out. So mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I, I love that sense of um, breaking out, you know, dismantling about, those barriers. About claiming what is ours. What is ours and what is claiming. there in the first place. Yeah, it's taking that nobody, nobody can get, get it out of you. That yes. is irrepressible. Thank irrepressible. you. The right so, word. So I would like to pick up on that word, um, Marvo, of irrepressible. Mm -hmm. And maybe to broaden the idea of the grandmother to women, particularly women in Jamaica, who are in general irrepressible. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the ability to pass on all these cultural forms, whether it's language that Andrew spoke about or the, the, the use of herbs that Rob spoke about, all these cultural retentions that are coming from, from Africa, many of them, and, and they have been able to coalesce all this and pass them on intergenerationally from one yeah. generation. So I'm thinking of the girl child who becomes 
the young woman becomes the mother and the grandmother. Many of us here, certainly I am in some is, we have been the girl, the young woman, the, the mother, now the grandmother. And um, we have gone through all the various stages and we have been able to um, just hold on to what is important, to pass yes. these things on to the next generation. So in turn, they can pass it on to the next and the next. And so we have been able to hold on, retain the, the, the retention of important values, cultural norms, and so on. I think the, the spirit of the Jamaican woman, or maybe the Caribbean woman, or of women generally, maybe yeah. some in Egypt, irrepressible. 